In this presentation, I'm going to cover mastitis in mares. We'll talk about what it is, what causes it, and how to treat it. So what is mastitis? Mastitis is inflammation of the mammary glands, usually as a result of an infection. It's most commonly caused by a bacterial infection, but it can also occur from a fungal infection or even from parasites. And it can occur in mares who currently have a foal on them, so they're currently lactating, mares who no longer have a foal on them, so they lactated in the past, or even maiden mares, which is a mare that has never foaled. And this is less common. I recently had a mare who was diagnosed with mastitis and she foaled three years ago. Three years ago, that was her first foal. And she has not foaled again since then. Um, so she has not lactated in three years, but she just recently developed mastitis. So how would you know if your mare has mastitis? Pain and swelling are the most common signs. If you look at the picture to the right, this is my mare that was recently diagnosed with mastitis. And that was the first thing that we noticed was the swelling on the bottom of her belly, which is actually edema inflammation, which has settled there because of the infection. As we went and we further investigated, we then noticed that her right nipple was extremely hard. And when we milked it, there was a pussy foul smelling substance that was coming out. Sometimes you'll see this dripping, um, sometimes you may not see it, but the udder itself will be very hard and oftentimes warm to the touch as well. If the mare does happen to have a foal on them, oftentimes they will not allow the foal to nurse because it's painful. If the infection spreads outside of the udder, the mare, the mare can also have an elevated temperature. So you could look for signs of fever and if you take the temperature, um, it should be elevated. It's helpful if you can catch it before it gets to that point where it's just still isolated to the udder, but oftentimes um, there will be some systemic infections associated with mastitis. If a mare has mastitis, it is recommended to culture the discharge and to do an antibiotic sensitivity test to ensure that the mare is treated with the correct antibiotics. The majority of the cases are caused by a streptococcus species, but it has been reported um, as the result of over 20 different types of bacteria, so you just want to make sure that you're treating it correctly. In this video, we are milking Smarty so that we can run a culture to make sure that we have her on the proper treatments. To treat mastitis, you want to give systemic and intramammary antibiotics. So systemic would be usually an oral dose of antibiotics. You can also give injectable. Um, many cases respond well to penicillin. Bovine intramammary antibiotics can also be administered directly into the teat to increase local concentration of antibiotics in the udder. So this is actually put directly up the teat and injected. It comes in on a tube. And if the udder is hard and painful, you can milk the mare a bit to take some pressure off of it. You don't want to milk too much though, because this will also stimulate uh, milk production. Um, so if the mare is not currently supposed to be lactating, you don't want to milk too much. Um, massage therapy is a wonderful way to help mobilize some of that edema. And also hydrotherapy, where you can just put a cold hose on it, can help decrease some of the pain and edema as well. Nostril anti-inflammatories such as bute can help reduce pain and swelling. And if the horse has a fever, it will help reduce the fever as well. So these are some ways that you can treat mastitis. Mares usually respond pretty well to treatment and they usually don't have any issues um, lactating afterwards, unlike some cattle, but mares do tend to respond well. So if you do ever have to deal with uh, mastitis, I hope this presentation will help you out.